This is a day after uh, June 12, Nigeria's Democracy Day. And some of the issues that you raise, they've raised questions on the principles of democracy. And you're talking about President Buhari and some of the things you disagree with. And you're uh, raising your uh, views on some of those things you need to pay attention to. For example, we know that President Buhari spent most of his uh, youthful young uh, age as a military officer. And we understand that he's a military man by training. But he is said, and he was quoted to have said that he's a converted Democrat. With some of the things that you've raised in your open letter, do you have any reason to believe otherwise? Um, what I would say is that the president is a converted Democrat, but uh, may still be struggling with some of his military uh, tendencies. It's very, it's very hard to break uh, a lifelong habit. So we have a president that consistently complains about how uh, human rights and democratic processes hamper him, slow him down, prevent him from being able to do his job. So that is clearly someone that is not comfortable, uh, totally comfortable with uh, democratic processes, that feels that they are a hindrance. There's that sense that they are a hindrance. So sometimes he seems to come across as, listen, I need to have totalitarian or authoritarian powers in order to fix Nigeria, which is sort of the military mentality that Nigerians are hard-headed people. You have to use iron hand over them. You know? But in truth, you cannot whip or frog jump a country into development. You cannot do that. And modern concepts of development are centered around the concept of human rights, an expanded concept of human rights, not just fundamental human rights, but also economic rights, rights to health, rights to education, rights to a, to a good job. And this is what development means to facilitate access to these rights for your citizens. So denying rights in any way cannot facilitate development. It can only precipitate or tensions and conflicts and insecurity. So we need the government to, or the president, to really become a believer in the importance of human rights, giving, allowing Nigerians to have full access to the full range of human rights is the object of development. It is not, uh, it, is, it is a contradiction in terms to say that you can develop a country, or in order to develop a country, you must first deny or in any way infringe on the rights of a citizen. You know, development is freedom, according to Amartya Sen, the Nobel laureate in economics. Development is the freedom of the individual to own and exercise his individual rights. All right. So the government so should not interfere with that. The government should rather be enhancing our capacity to enjoy our rights.